I saw those clouds today. I was hoping we might get a little more. It kind of looked like it could <laughs> yeah. rain, yeah, but the uh, rainfall all ended last night yeah. uh, for our part of the state. We did see some lingering showers in East Texas, and boy, it is still the hot topic today, though, and uh, we have posted some of the rainfall maps from the uh, National Weather Service on our weather blog today. You can see where the most rain fell, uh, not only here, but around the state. Again, go to the uh, weather menu in KXN.com, and it's the weather blog at the uh, very bottom. Uh, there's a larger image of Texas right there. Big red area, an orange area from our hill country all the way up to the Oklahoma border. All of those locations receiving uh, three inches at a minimum, some places six to eight inches. Again, check it out on the weather blog. We posted some of these uh, for you uh, last night, but we're so excited about this rain. I thought I'd show it to you one more time uh, just in case you haven't seen these totals. Uh, in the hill country, we saw as much as eight inches of rain. That was a very isolated area, but it was eight inches in a rain gauge in southeastern San Saba County. That water flowing down into Lake Buchanan. Lake Buchanan's up about a foot. Lake Travis is also up about a foot. General rainfall totals in the hill country uh, were pretty impressive. Two and a half to three and a half, as much as five and a half inches uh, just north of Llano. Little less in the metro area, but most of us saw two inches, uh, at least an inch and a half, and sometimes as much as three and a half inches up there in far northwestern Williamson County, and then slightly lower totals to the east, but most places is at least an inch to inch and a half with a couple of two inch totals as well. Tonight, skies are actually mostly clear right now. We had those clouds all day long, but late this afternoon they started to break, and tonight they're continuing to uh, uh, dissipate. We may see them reform, though, in the middle of the night because of the ground level moisture. 70 degrees out there right now. So, with some low clouds developing overnight, that should stop our temperature from dropping much below the mid 60s. By noon tomorrow, upper 70s, and then about 87 tomorrow afternoon, so it's going to get warmer again. But it's wonderful tonight in the Hill Country. These are current temperatures, low and mid 60s, just about everywhere in the metro area. 64 out at Lake Travis, 68 in South Austin, 66 degrees up in Georgetown. In our eastern counties, we're looking pretty nice too, from 72 there in Giddings to 70 in Bastrop, 68 in Elgin. Austin, 70, uh, and it's partly cloudy to mostly clear. Uh, the airport, 68, and also partly cloudy. Relative humidity high. Wind very light. Uh, sunrise in the morning at 730. Mole count high today, too, and it probably will be all week. 1262 is the count today. Fall elm medium and ragweed low. Temperatures around Texas, 60s back up to the northwest into the hill country, 70s from here all the way down to the Texas coast. Pretty nice night tonight. That low cloudiness, you see it in the gray colors right there, uh, finally dissipated this evening, but may build back in overnight. Interesting feature out here is a hurricane. It's a Category 3 hurricane hole in the Pacific is actually moving to the east and may come ashore late tomorrow between Puerto Vallarta and Manzanillo, a little closer to Manzanillo. Pretty rare to get a major hurricane come back to the east and hit the west coast of Mexico. Now, normally when that happens, we might get some of that moisture up our direction, but it looks like this time all that moisture is going to stay south. We'll watch a little front come in about Wednesday, weak front, but we're not expecting it to generate any rain, maybe just to bring a little cloud cover back. There are your lows in the morning, upper 50s, low 60s in most areas. Highs tomorrow. More sun than we saw today in most areas, so it'll be warmer, at least back up into the mid-80s. Some patchy light fog late tonight, 64 in the morning. Let's go 87 tomorrow. Some patchy fog in the morning, and then uh, more sunshine, at least for a greater duration of the day uh, tomorrow than we saw today. On Wednesday, uh, up to 89. A uh, little front drops us maybe a degree or two on Thursday. Not a big deal. Back to 90 by the weekend. Uh, we'll have another chance of rain in about one week. Can't promise it's going to be a good soaker like this one, but we're pretty optimistic next Monday, Tuesday might get a little more. Tomorrow morning, we'll start our day at 4.30 a.m. If you'd like to join us, we'll bring you the latest on the weather and traffic every 10 minutes.